Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. I am in a new kind of location. I'm in a hotel room. Um, I'm here for a business trip for my work. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about that, slide over to my vlogs that should be up on this channel already. Um, I just go more in depth of what I'm doing here. So if you're wondering, go check out those vlogs. Today I'm gonna be talking about just being single for a year because I have been single for a little bit more than a year and I just wanted to come on here because I feel like while I was going through the moment of like I uh, should I do I want to be single like do I want to end this I went through a lot of just fighting with myself and things like that that I honestly wondered if other teen moms or other people even went through because it's not something that we talk about like the internet is very like fake positivity you know but I just wonder like do people go through these emotions of like feeling so empty so crazy so um confused I want to sit here and I want to connect with another teen mom out there or another mom who's going through this another person that's going through this I want you to know that it's just so normal to go through though I want to sit here and just tell you kind of what I went through where I'm at where I was so if you would like to see that then just keep watching okay guys so I was in a six-year relationship with my ex and I had two kids in that relationship I have a six-year-old son and a three-year-old daughter and if you're wondering more about them I do have a few vlogs um, a lot of vlogs on my channel so you can like I said slide over there click the videos down below um, so you can get to know us a little bit more I was in a six-year relationship with my ex which is their dad um, they both have the same dad sadly we've made teen pregnancy so so normal I'm not here to judge you but I just feel like we've made it so normal but we don't realize <laughs> that it's not normal does that make sense I was a teen mom at 14 I had I got with my baby dad whenever I was 12 he was 15 he was three years older than me he is three years older than me the reason why I got into that relationship was because my childhood my past before everything I was going through this craziness of divorce um, I had gone through some things whenever I was a child my dad was very abusive towards us like he would like beat us um, and I think I just felt so unloved and I was roaming the world with a mind that wasn't supposed to be a 12 year old's mind at that age like I feel like people are like whenever like, I've talked to a ton of people and they're like whenever I was 12 I was still a virgin or I haven't had my period I hadn't gotten it and I totally get that it was just that I had gone through so much crap in my life that honestly my mind as a 12 year old was not what it's supposed to be like i was thinking about things that i was not supposed to be thinking about that 14 year old should not be like should not be thinking about this i got with my baby daddy really placed my identity around what he wanted and not what i wanted not what was best for me and then i ended up getting pregnant and my baby of course was like my first thing like ever in life and i feel like i didn't i feel like i went from 12 so young to like placing my identity around what somebody wanted to then g becoming a mom and then replacing my identity with just being a mom so there was no more like Leslie in the picture it was just like Leslie this person like I'm gonna be the identity of this person and what they want me to be what they want me to sound like what they want me to do and it wasn't he was not abusive I think it was just more because I was so naive so young I didn't know what this world was yet and so I feel like I just I could have placed that burden on him like what am I supposed to be like what do you want I wanted to like please him and it wasn't I don't I don't think that that was okay for me to do and then I went from like that to being a mom and like my child is always like my number one priority and there was no other option it wasn't like girl i'm gonna step out of this picture no other option like i'm gonna be a mom because i'm gonna be a mom i'm gonna make the best choices for them and then i went through like this these crazy six years of just f trying to find who i was and all the wrong way it gets to a point where you realize that you can't take care of yourself and then not love yourself and not like and try to love somebody else and they can't do it either and then like as much as you love somebody you just have you just realize like no 
I can't love you unless I learn to love every single and that doesn't mean like love yourself does not mean like loving going to fuck it up with your friends like that is not what that's not what that means that that's not what that means loving yourself is not going out and like figuring out what you like figure out what like you know like i you know what i mean like i don't want to be like inappropriate in this video Loving yourself means loving every flaw in you every hurt in you that's what loving yourself means and i've learned that like i have to love myself enough to heal those wounds to re to sit down and just examine myself and say this is a flaw i'm gonna love your flaws you're gonna love everything about yourself if you don't like the way your boobs look look you're gonna love that about yourself if you don't like the way your arms look you're gonna love that about yourself because you learn to love every single part of your body and i think even like your body but it has to start from within you're gonna have to love your scars you're gonna love your your hurts you're gonna love your past even though it's hard you're gonna appreciate what you went through because of who you are today that's what loving yourself is. mean it like in a way of of really getting deep deeply connect, connected with yourself so i feel like for so long i just kind of like piled it all up just kind of let it just pile over and over and over and over again like i just hit it boom boom next thing after the other well he did this pile it well my dad did this pile it well, my mom said that pile it no i've learned so much and and what really triggered my change i think is um my brother i have made a story over like a video over this i think so if you guys want to watch i'll leave it linked down below so you guys can get like a bigger picture of everything but you realize like i realized this because my brother he passed away and i was just devastated and i had to stop just shoving just hiding everything like i had to stop that and i realized that this was really gonna screw me up if i didn't stop and heal the wound and healing that wound opened up another wound and then that wound opened up another wound so i had to keep healing things and i just wasn't the leslie that i pretended to be that i wanted that other people wanted me to be and so i had to go i'm going through a journey of loving myself and making the best choices for me and for my kids and that was letting go of this relationship as much as i wanted it to work it wasn't gonna work um and that was because he had wounds that he needed to heal and that he needs to heal you can't fix people like you can't fix like you don't understand how many nights like i sat on my bed and cried you know how many times like i looked at my kids and like was like is this the right choice that i'm making we were engaged and everything cycle for a long time i was just like we break up and then it was like three days and he would make some empty promises we talk about our issues like i'd be like this is what i don't like about what you got going on and he would say this is what i don't like about you like some t child ish ish you guys like it was just like too much like if i think about it now like i just don't have time for that right now like i don't have time for this childish crap right now it's because i'm finding out who i am so that whenever somebody I meet that knows who they are whenever we love each other. I feel like it'll just kind of happen. I have issues. Like, I can sit here and tell you my issues. I spend too much damn money on crap that I don't need. That's an issue that I'm dealing with right now that I have to deal with because that can be, like, honestly, that can be an issue whenever you get into a relationship because you're spending y'all's money on crap that you don't need. So I feel like I need to fix all this baggage or get it under control before I can jump into another relationship. Um, and honestly... I feel like if you're going through this, like I said, it takes time. It's not something that you can just say, I'm done and hop right out of after six years. I mean, I, some people do it like that. Like, I feel like he thinks that I did it like that. Like, if you ask him what I did, I feel like he would say she just hopped out of the relationship. I feel like he says that because he's like, I don't know how somebody can just walk away like that from a six-year relationship. I don't know how you can just throw like six, seven years down the drain. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like I just like said, whoop, a peace out, bye. Like, it's not what I did at all. And honestly, it was nights of me crying, days of me spending uh, like days alone, wondering how my kids are going to be fed, what they're going to wear, where they're going to go. Like, like those, those are things that he doesn't take into consideration 
I mean, I don't know about now, but before he didn't take into consideration, like, she, like I didn't just hop out of this relationship because I was like, peace out, I want to go hoe around, or peace out, I don't want to take care of, like, my kids. No, 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 no. I did not do that. I did it because I spent so many days, so many nights stressing about what was going to happen, where I was going to be. Like, I was tired of relying on other people, and I chose to get my booty up and work my butt off for my kids and love my kids and make a healthy mom internally for them now i don't know what he's doing with his life i know that sounds kind of weird and it is weird because you're like you've spent so much time in this person's life and then boom like out of nowhere you're just like i don't know what he's doing people ask me about him and i'm just like i don't know i'm i'm letting him do his thing and i'm doing my thing and for so long it was just like a relationship of like trying to control each other's lives and that was not very healthy for either one of I think the best thing that I can tell you in this video is just cry, scream, let it out. I think that's part of figuring it out. It's just being so vulnerable with yourself first. Like, girl, there was times where I looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, girl, you got this. You deserve a good good man in your life you deserve a man who will treat you right who will treat your kids right like i there's many times where i have to do that to myself so i encourage you to do that to yourself with yourself it's just like give yourself some pep talks because you're your own best friend like you're the only person you truly need with it's okay to go through those moments it's okay to go through through everything like i just want you to know that it's okay not to be okay in these times of whatever life throws at you whether that's getting a divorce or ending the relationship or separating whatever it is but you got to find yourself before you find somebody else yo it's just something that i've learned in life and so i just i've had a good time with my your time you deserve it like i said you deserve a good person in your life that will love you unconditionally that will love you right that will not try to change who you are because you know who you so that's it it's been a year since i've ended my relationship that's it, guys. That's all I have for y'all. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. Love you guys.